Hey friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling blessed and staying in God's presence. And if not, I hope you feel uplifted after today's video. If you're new here, welcome to His Princess Christian Community where we read a chapter of the Bible every day and then discuss it afterwards and in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and it opens the door for more people to join our community. And while you're at it, check out the description box. We got a lot of great stuff in there. So today we're reading 1 Samuel chapter 21, but before we get started, I want to say a prayer if you wouldn't mind bowing your heads with me. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together here on His Princess Christian Community. Thank you for opening the door for people to join our community, for connecting us and strengthening our bond. Thank you for opening our eyes, our ears, our hearts, and our minds to your word. Thank you for your wisdom, understanding, and clarity as we seek to interpret your word. Thank you for the courage to apply it to our daily lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, 1 Samuel chapter 21. David went to the town of Nob to see Amimelech the priest. Amimelech trembled when he saw him. Why are you alone? he asked. Why is no one with you? The king has sent me on a private matter, David said. He told me not to tell anyone why I am here. I have told my men where to meet me later. Now what is there to eat? Give me five loaves of bread, anything else you have. We don't have any regular bread, the priest replied, but there is the holy bread, which you can have if, you, if your young men have not slept with any women recently. Don't worry, David replied. I never allow my men to be with women when we are on a campaign, and since they stay clean even on ordinary trips, how much more on this one? Since there was no other food available, the priest gave him the holy bread, the bread of the presence that was placed before the Lord in the tabernacle. It had just been replaced that day with fresh bread. Now Daog the Edomite, Saul's chief herdsman, was there that day, having been detained before the Lord. David asked Amimelech, Do you have a spear or a sword? The king's business was so urgent that I didn't even have time to grab a weapon. I only have the sword of Goliath the Philistine, whom you killed in the valley of Elah. The priest replied, It is wrapped in a cloth behind the ephod. Take that if you want it, for there is nothing else here. There is nothing like it, David replied. Give it to me. So David escaped from Saul and went to King Ashk of Gath. But the officer of Ashk were unhappy about his being there. Isn't this David the king of the land? They asked. Isn't he the one the people honor with dancing, with dances, singing? Saul has killed his thousands and David his ten thousands. David heard these comments and was very afraid of what King Ash of Gath might do to him. So he pretended to be insane, scratching on the doors and drooling down his beard. Finally, King Ash said to his men, Must you bring me a madman? We already have enough of them around here. Why should I let someone like this be my guest? Amen. So what did you think of 1 Samuel chapter 21? I'm interested to hear about it in the comments below. Let me know what your insights or interpretations were in the chapter. Maybe comment your favorite verse or just say hi and let us know that you're part of the community. And if you've been blessed lately, let us know so that we can rejoice with you. And if you need prayer, make sure you're putting that in the comments too so we can pray together as a community. Okay, so 1 Samuel chapter 21 says David runs from Saul. And I wrote to the side, when you find yourself in uncertain circumstances, go to God. So the first thing he does is he goes to the priest Amimelech. And the priest asks him, like, why are you alone? Where's your campaign? Because t typically somebody of his stature wouldn't travel alone. And, you know, David gives a lie. He's like, I'm on a private matter. And he asks for food. And the only thing that the priest had was the bread of the presence that's typically only... Um, only the Levites are meant to eat that bread, but he gives it to David anyway. And that's just another reminder of God's provision, um, that when you're in need, God is going to provide. So not only does he provide the bread, but he also provides David with the sword of Goliath that um, when he asked for a weapon. So then he runs across the king in that area and and the king's men it, are unhappy to um that david is there they're intimidated by him you know so oftentimes when you are um glorified by god when you're anointed by god it's going to make people like scared of you they're not always going to want you around um because they're not always sure what you're going to do jealousy you know haters are going to hate 
So then when David heard what they were saying about him, he pretended to be insane. It says he was scratching on the doors and drooling down his beard. And finally, the king said to his men, um, must you bring me a madman? We already have enough of them around here. Why should I let someone like this be my guest? So he's like, he doesn't even want him around there. And sometimes that's what ends up happening. Like you end up looking bad in the eyes of other people so that in order for God to keep you safe. You know, so sometimes people will think badly about you just because God is protecting you. And you just have to remember that. So that is my interpretation of 1 Samuel chapter 21. I'm interested to hear what you have to say about it. Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you stay blessed, stay in God's presence, and have a great rest of your day. I love you.